Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm Paige, this is Seeking Alexandria, and y'all, I'm so excited. We are playing around with a new video idea today. This is something that, it's only new to me. Everybody else already does it, obviously. Your girl's like 97, still trying to get with the times, but I love it when people go through and they do the videos where they go on trend mood and they're like, oh, you know, these are the new releases, this is what's coming out, this is what I wanna try, this is what I don't wanna try, and I thought it would be a really cool idea for my channel especially because I do upload, like you guys know, five videos a week, and doing videos like this I think would be really helpful to show you guys what I plan to review, what's kind of coming down the pike, but also what I'm not checking out and why and just kind of, I don't know, just something a little bit different because I love these videos. I think it's really cool to see someone else's perspective on a launch and what they do and don't like and I'm here for it and I wanted to do one too. So hello, hi, let's get into it. Oh god you guys. The crab pinchers are back. I don't know what it is lately, but when your girl gets excited or really into a topic, out come the pinchers and they're just like, nah, 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 nah. like they, they're, hmm. They're here. So the first item on our agenda today is none other than Lunar Beauty's Summer Collection. Mr. Manny MUA has dropped it, honey, and your girl is so excited. Yes! We have a new palette, we have two liquid lipsticks, and a lip gloss from what I could see in his reveal video, and your girl is 100% checking this out. Oh my god, lord, yes! Ooh, honey. Okay, so not only do I love the formula, let's just give you some backstory, because I know I look psychotic. It's okay. It's a thing. It's fine. Don't worry about it. But when he released his Greek Goddess Collection last year, you guys... Ooh, I fell in love. The gloss formula, the shadow formula, everything about it was just so freaking on point. But then fast forward to this year when he released his Moon Prism highlights. Y'all, wait for it. Wait for it. I got him in PR. I don't know. I don't know at what point my life took such an amazing turn where I got a PR from Lunar Beauty, but it did, and I'm so, so here for it. The formula was beautiful. I still wear the lightest shade. I think it might be Venus. I wear that all the time. And overall, I just find that his formulas for his products are so beautiful. So when I found out that this one was getting launched and released, your girl was ready. I was on it. I was like, yes, honey, watch me go, because I had to do a full review on it. Then your girl got online, and Mr. Manny MUA had already sent me a message, and he was like, oh, girl, PR is going out today, so I will be getting it in the mail very soon and as soon as I get it there will be a full-on review for you guys so even if I hadn't been getting this in PR though the moral of the story is I would definitely be doing a review um, not only do I love the color story of the palette the way it looks the aesthetics everything about it speaks to me and I love love his attention to detail and his packaging even his little lip components they have like the little faux diamond kind of gem at the top you guys the colors and just the overall look and presentation he puts together a story with his packaging and as an overall collection he's really done a great job I feel at putting together a line that is so beautiful aesthetically and I'm just I'm here for it so just so y'all know all the messages I was getting wondering if I was doing a full review oh honey it is on it is on like Donkey Kong and I'm excited okay excuse me loud sir shh shh we're talking rude. So the next item we are going to talk about is from Natasha Denona. This is the Coral Palette and it says that it is $48 for five full-size eyeshadows launching on August 3rd. Now here's my situation with these small Natasha Denona palettes. I get questions from you guys all the time about them um, and the reality is do I have one? Yes. I got it in the Wayne Goss and Cult Beauty collab box that they did. I've talked about this so many times on my channel, but for those of you that don't know, Wayne Goss, an amazing, incredible, brilliant man when it comes to makeup. He has a YouTube channel here. I will link it down below. He does really great, quick, informative videos on his channel all the time, but he also did a collab with Cult Beauty. They're basically like a Sephora, to my understanding, but like the Across the Pond version. Maybe. I don't know. I could be way wrong. I just know that they are an online retailer and he did a collab box with them. It was like $100 to $150, something like that. And in this box was five curated products that Wayne Goss felt uh, were really, really good. They had some eye serum, some face cream, some other stuff like that. And there was one of those little Natasha Denona caramel palettes, the one that was all nude or something. I don't remember what it was called. Moral of my story is I do have that palette. I've used it a couple of times. Is it something to where I feel like, wow, you know, I got this great value if I would have paid $48? for it? No, I do not. I feel like these little five pan palette things are like a stab in like, hey, let's make something a little more affordable, but like an epic fail at the same time. And the main reason that I say that is because I had lost all hope that Natasha Denona would kind of be able to come up with a more affordable option up until this little bad boy, the Sunrise palette. I did do a full review. I will link it up here. I love this palette. This is so, so beautiful. And to me, this is where it's at. This is a $65 
$5 option. So yes, it is about $23 more than this little five pan palette. But for the price difference and what you get, this is so, so much more worth it to me. I feel like this is an entire experience. This is a whole moment versus a little five pan thing where you really won't have a ton of versatility in what you're doing. It's just something that unless you only want to do your eyes with these colors for the price, you could literally get anything else. Now, moving on to quality, I know there has been a lot of talk with the quality of these little five pan shadows versus the larger palettes like this one or the sunrise or any of those. Um, and I do agree that there is a little bit of a difference in the overall quality that you receive with these little palettes. I think that they're just not as smooth and they're not as whoo as her normal shadows and if you've ever used Natasha Denona you will understand exactly what that means because her shadows have a way of applying to the lid and just blending themselves out they have a way of working so seamlessly and so beautifully on your skin and I just find that these ones don't do that for me yes they're beautiful yes they blend out again I don't have any issues with them but when I go through and I directly compare those little mini five pan palettes to the big ones I just I'm not in love with them um I can understand if that's what you're looking for. Maybe you want to try Denona, but you don't want to pay $125 for a big palette or $65. Like, I can see it, but for me, I think it would be way more worth it if you are really dead set on trying Denona. You really want to get that feel. I don't think you're going to get the full Denona experience from the five pan palette. I think you'd be much better off to save up and get this one or go for one of the $125 palettes or even wait until there's a launch that you feel really connected with and save for that. But for me, these are just not it. Not only do I think on my channel it wouldn't fit, I don't think it'd be a great video and I just don't think for the value it's it's really worth it if I'm being honest. So next up, we have a new item from a Revlon Hello High Drugstore. Um, this is their Cloud Blotted Lip Color. It says it will be available in six finishes that are matte, and it is coming soon in August. Now, let me just tell you, I am here for this, and I have multiple reasons. Number one, I am really trying to dive in with my channel and explore more than just doing an eyeshadow release and explore more than just a foundation. Like, those are really, really awesome things that I do. I love doing them. I, like, genuinely enjoy a foundation review. Oh, my God, like, it sends me. But my biggest issue is I feel like there are so many more items that go forgotten about on smaller channels that do reviews. Um, for example, foundation is great. What about concealer? I plan on doing more concealer reviews. I want to be able to do a review, a wear test on a concealer. I want to be able to put it up against another concealer. How does it look? How does it wear? What is, what is the situation there? And who? hello, Dr. Seuss is in the house. What's up? And it's the same with lips. I did a full review of the Wet n Wild Snow Melt Lip Powders, which I can link up here. And when I put that video up. It was kind of to test the water, see what you guys thought. And a lot of you really, really enjoyed it because again, lip products are one of those things that they just get unnoticed. Um, I feel like sometimes people do mascara wears. I'd love to do those as well. If there's ever a mascara that you're like, wow, I want the tea on this. How does it wear? What does it do to your lashes? So on and so forth. I want to know from you guys if that's something you want to see, because again, I feel like this is something I really want to branch into. And as somebody who is obviously chronically ill all the time and I have fibro, I am very, very sensitive on my lips to matte, to texture, to overall like grittiness. I'm just a super duper lip sensitive person. And so I feel like if I can go through and I can test out these different formulas, I will be able to tell you guys, you know, if you're sensitive, you'll like this, if you like this and so on and so forth. And I just feel like this is something I'm a hundred percent into. And I will also say the idea of a blotted matte finish I'm into it. Like, what? Are, when you say blotted, what are we talking about? Like, is it going to look like a like a stain, kind of? Is it going to wear nicely? Can I maybe put a gloss over it when it wears off? Like, what are we looking at? These are the things that I'm in it for, and I'm just, I'm super curious to check them out. Now, the only thing about this launch that's throwing me off just a little bit is that all six containers in the photo that they put on Trend Mood, they're all painfully close to being the exact same color. Like, there isn't like, oh, a nude brown, or like, oh, here's a hot pink. Okay, here's a red. Like, no, they are all various shades of pink and red and like I just not seeing a ton of diversity in the color now maybe that's just because that's the outside of the color maybe the color on the inside is different but from where I'm sitting I'm just not really seeing enough like color difference and so that's definitely something I oh oh, oh. Oh, the girl, the claw is here um, because she's not seeing it either. So moral of the story, yes, I will be checking them out. I'm very curious. Let me know down below if that's something you guys are into, if you like these kinds of launches um, when it comes to lips, because <laughs> I do. So next up is something that I did also have a lot of questions on. This is the collab that ColourPop did with Halo Top Ice Cream. Now, first thing I'm going to tell you, y'all, the packaging on this, oh, girl, 
out. It gave me all the vibes, all the love, all the feelings. Now, obviously, this is a collection that has already launched. It is much more on the affordable side um, than some of the other stuff we have talked about in this video. You can buy the collection as a whole, which was two, four, six, eight, eight of their Super Shock shadows, and that bundle was $40, or you could buy the duos, which was a different type of ice cream for each duo, and each bundle was $12. So again, much more on the affordable side. So for me, there's a couple issues with this. Number one, the cohesion in the collection as far as making a video, it didn't really make sense because yes, I could have done a video. I can swatch them all for you. I can go that route, but I can't really make an eye look <laughs> that's super cohesive out of these because they are beautiful. They're nice. They're shimmery. They're shiny, but there wasn't really like a good, you know, here's a crease color. Here's a this. Here's an eye look. Like there wouldn't have been anything that I could really show you guys because to me, these eight shadows are much more, um, they're not a standalone piece, if you will. They're more of a complement type of an item um, to something you might already have. You'd need like, oh, I can put this, this super shock shade with this palette that I have, or, oh, you know, I think this duo would look really nice with this palette, so on and so forth, which there's nothing wrong with that. But for me, number one, I don't need that in my collection. Um, even though they are beautiful, I have nothing against them. And number two, I just didn't feel like I would really be able to get them out to you guys in a way that I felt like it would make a difference in your makeup existence, if you will. Like to me, I'm looking at them and I'm like, if they're not going to make a difference in my makeup world, they're probably not going to make a difference in your makeup world. Now, just from an ordering perspective, another issue that I always have with ColourPop, and this is just me, I, I'm not going to speak for everybody, but girl, it is so frustrating when you order from them and it will take literally a week to two weeks to get it. Like, hello, I got a channel. I'm trying to get these reviews out. And this to me just wasn't worth the wait. It wasn't worth me getting it to sit here and twiddle my freaking thumbs. And not to mention, there is no option, at least the last time I checked for me here in Michigan, there was no option for expedited shipping. So I can't even plan like, hey, I'm going to put that on next Thursday. I'm going to put that on Friday, right after this review. Like I want to put that with this. I don't have that option when it comes to them. And because I do film so much and I also have full businesses and I also have, you know, so many other things that I try to juggle, I don't have the option in my life to have this willy nilly package show up that I just don't have any way to control. That being said, I do like the colors. I think they're pretty. If you're looking for that little compliment pop, you might be into it. Just for me, it wasn't really worth the review. So next up, let's go ahead and talk about something I have gotten so many questions on, the KK Body releases. Okay, so yes, it restocked, and then I think it sold back out again, yada, yada. Um, here are my thoughts on the KK launches in general. The problem I have with them is that when they release literally everything sells out almost immediately, which is great. Good. Like, good job. I'm glad for your release. That's fantastic. But why not stock more? Like for me, it is such a huge pain when I go there. For example, this is exactly what happened with the KKW face and body that this launch, this is exactly what happened. It originally launched. I got the email. I was like, sweet, this is going to be great. I thought there was somebody just like coming in my yard. I do not think so, honey. But anyways, I go to the website when it launches and as I'm looking around, like, okay, I'm going to pick my skin tone. I want this one. As I'm picking it, and adding it to my cart, it's being removed from my cart. And I'm like, okay, that's irritating. I guess I don't need this kit that I was going to purchase. Fine, I guess I'll try this. And as I'm trying to purchase literally every single piece, it's all selling out. And I'm like, okay, listen, listen, I am so sick of this happening. And it's one thing, like if it happened, let's say for example, the Jeffree Star website or Jeffree Star's launches, very big popular launches, fantastic, good for you. Um, when his launches happen though, A, not only can I tell that he's increased his volume for his launches, which is great, but I like that it doesn't happen to me every single time because that shows a pattern of repeat behavior because when I am someone that is on that site, I'm there when it launches, there's no reason that at least one out of five times I shouldn't be able to buy on launch day what I'm trying to purchase. And with her stuff, it constantly goes out of stock before I have a chance to get it. And we're talking like a matter of I'm on there literally one minute after it launches, I'm looking through, gathering my things, and they're being taken out of my cart. So for me, I just don't have a good experience in general purchasing from KKW Beauty, like it's 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 a pain overall. Now to the contrary about this collection, what I was happy about is the number of shades that were released, the number of options I thought was really cool. There was like a matte and a shimmery kind of version and I liked that they matched up with so many skin tones. That was really nice. Um, for me, I don't think this is something where even if I could have gotten it, I would have used it on most of my body because my legs, obviously I shave my legs, but I don't shave my arms. Um, I don't know if that's a thing by the way. I feel like a lot of beauty, like YouTuber people, they shave their arms. I don't shave my arms. Is that weird? Like, do you people shave? Do people, normal people shave their arms and I just don't? 
Like, I'm not sure anymore because I feel like since being on YouTube, so many things have, like, been open to my eyes. Kind of like when you're on YouTube and that video comes across your screen or on Twitter. I know it was on Twitter. Where they show you, like, see this beautiful pile of pancakes? Oh, it's made of rubber tires. Do you see this burger over here? Oh, she's filled with hairspray. And it's like that moment when you realize, wow, these beautiful, fantastic, delicious-looking photos, girl, they're not real. That's, like, the level of betrayal I felt when I found out that beauty YouTubers shaved their arms. And I can't decide if, like... Am I supposed to shave mine? Is that a thing? Like, once you hit, like, 20K, you got to shave your arms? Like, what, what, what are we looking at? Anyways, wow, you guys, I'm sorry. So, my thought with these is that, yes, I could have used them on the legs, but when it comes right down to the legs, all I'll end up putting on them anyways is some of my, like, Vaseline Shimmery Body Oil. I love that stuff. Or the Huda stuff, mixing that in with the Vaseline. Or there's the other spray stuff that's been released from everywhere, from the drugstore to ColourPop to High End. So, this is a launch that I'm kind of going to just, you know, let continue to pass on by. And I guess I really just wanted to tell this story just so I could complain a little bit about my experience with KKW beauty on the internet. So I'm gonna, I'm just gonna go now. <laughs> Sorry. So next up we have the newest release from Glam Light. This is going to be their paint collection. It looks here like it will include an eyeshadow palette, a two different lipsticks, I'm sorry, five styles of lashes, and then there's also a PR box way that you can purchase it out as a bundle. Um, and for this I wanted to ask you guys, actually, I have never tried anything from Glam Light before. I know that they come out with all of the super cool like designs and the burger packages and all of that, but I've never tried anything from them. So is that something you'd like to see? Um, this does say it's on pre-order and it will ship on 829 from the Glam Light website. So I'm here for the idea of it. I think the liquid lipsticks could look beautiful. I am really picky when it comes to liquid lipsticks, so that could be kind of a, a thing to consider. And the lashes I wouldn't pick up because I don't wear fake lashes. But from you guys, do you want to see this palette? I'm in it. I think it's beautiful. I think I would definitely give it a go. Do some swatches. We can talk about pigmentation formula. We can talk about the company if you guys are into it. Let me know. Um, but from where I'm sitting, I'm in if you are. So let me know. Next item up here is from Nude Sticks. It says that this is a tinted cover. They're not sure if it's a foundation, a BB cream, what have you. And I just want you guys to know I am here for it, whatever it is. I am so in it to win it. I love foundation reviews and I really love Nude Sticks. I feel like they have really nice lightweight formulas. And even if it is a BB cream, I still want to test it out. But I love this little guy. I didn't use it today. I was super mad. This is their Nudie's Bloom All Over Dewy Color. And guys, they're stuff is just so freaking gorgeous and I feel like when they release items this is in the shade Tiger Lily Queen if you are curious it's a really bright coral color and when you apply it it looks gorgeous but what I love about nude sticks that I feel like nobody ever talks about is their ability to produce makeup that is like so seemingly lightweight and natural but still so 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 beautiful like to me nude sticks is one of those brands that they put the beauty in the natural market because they have a way of making things that are like light and airy and dewy but not too too much it's not like oh you're overly dewy to where you're greasy or oh it's so light there's no coverage or it's this like they just have that perfect medium ground and I just love everything about the company so just so y'all know if you were curious about that release honey I am so so here for it I'm ready I I'm thriving like nude sticks I'm waiting where is it I'm waiting I'm waiting there's not enough info on this post and it says natural coverage <laughs> I mean, that, that part kind of sucks. But, like, I'm here, I'm here. I'm here. I'm ready, nude sticks. Let's go. Let's bring it to me. Bring it to me. The pinchers need it. They need it. Now, last but not least, of course, I had to throw it in at the very end. House Laboratories, created by none other than the beautiful and successful Lady Gaga. This launch includes six R.I.P. lip liners, six La Riot lip glosses, and six Glam Attack liquid shimmer powders that you can layer on top of other products to transform their finish. And I will tell you guys right now, I did purchase everything from this collection, all of it from Amazon for their pre-order. Um, so as soon as they get here, there will be a huge video on that. I'm going to be talking, obviously, swatches, consistency, all of those good things. Now this is a launch that is of course getting a ton of buzz and there are so so many influencers that are going to be checking it out. So just so you guys know there will be a ton of videos around this time surrounding house laboratories but I do plan on doing my normal. I'm going to dive in, do swatches, do all of the normal things I would do for you but I also want to kind of take in and compare and I really want to look at her formula, look at everything that this brand will have to offer as far as what she's all about and, and that sort of thing because I think anytime you create a brand I want 
lot to know about not just the products, not just what they do and how much they cost, but I'm also interested in you. Like what 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 are you into as a brand and, and what do you want to represent? Why, why are you here? And you guys, that is it. Let me know down below. Do you like this video? Would you like to see these maybe once a month or so? Um, is this something you're into? Just kind of a sit down, chill out, lay back kind of video. I love them. Um, I'm, I'm into just anything like this in general because I like to sit down and talk a lot. You guys know. Um, but let me know down below your thoughts, opinions, feelings on the subject. Yes or no. I'd love to hear from you. Also, while you're at it, please do not also forget you can check me out on Instagram and on Twitter. They are both linked down below and your girl has been super, super, super active in her stories lately. So going along every day, hanging out with me, the dogs, taking a walk, answering questions. I asked you guys to send in questions. I answered them. Those were fun. Um, I just love hanging out with you guys in general. So check me out there. And if you haven't done so yet and you want to do it here, you can subscribe and turn on your post notifications for this here YouTube channel because I do upload five videos a week, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. They go up bright and early between 6 and 7 a.m. My time here in good old Northern Michigan. And you guys, that is it. Thank you all so, so much for watching. Please do not forget to have a great day, night, weekend, whatever it is when you're watching this. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye. How's my lipstick look? Uh, you know, could be better. I'm gonna have to fix this little Ronald McDonald friggin' smile line I've got. <laughs> I look like the creeper at the playground that ain't nobody wants to talk to. <laughs> Oh, my hip, my hippy lord in heaven above. Oh, my God, my hip, uh, my hip. I am the walrus. Cuckoo, 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 cuckoo. It's you. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Welcome back to my... <laughs> Guys, yet again, today we are testing out a new video. Y'all know I'm on the path. I'm on the holy land. What? The holy land? God? This escalated quickly.